Kanina nga ay naging mainit ang naging pagtanggap ng ating mga kababayan sa ating panauhi na si Ginang o Senator Emmy Marcos sa ginanap na simultaneous grand launching ng PNP Health Food Bank ngayong umaga dito mismo sa loob ng Campo Crame, Quezon City. Layunin ng naturang programa ng PNP na lubos pang makatulong sa ating mga kababayan sa panahon ng pandemya, lalo na ngayong panahon na tayo po ay may mga sakuna at mga disaster ating pong panoorin. We speak much today of the five-point program of our distinguished chief of PNP. And that five-point program is certainly one that we need to uphold and propagate. Many people claim to be tough on crime. Tough on crime indeed we must be. But more importantly in this day and age, we must be smart on crime. Smart on crime because things have changed and prevention is ultimately, even in police work as it is in health, more important than any other effort later on. In this digital age, technology has become cheap and available. The digitalization efforts of the PNP must therefore be supported as it provides science into all that we do. The National Police Clearance System has already been implemented in 779 police stations and even shopping malls nationwide. Yung iReport Act na siyang nagbibigay ng isang digital platform sa pagre-report ng mga karumaldumal na pangyayari sa bansa ay malaking tulong din at kapapalaganap pa lamang ng PNP kaakbay ang DICT. Ang mandatory use ng body-worn cameras or other alternative recording devices are most important and have been huge help ever since its implementation in 2021. Ngayon, meron na rin tayong Firearms Identification System or FIS. Alam ko na hanggang ngayon, medyo nahuhuli pa tayo sa pagbibilang ng registered firearms that has become a huge obstacle in the identification of firearms in criminal incidents. Dati rate, napakaliit ng mga bilang na rehistradong mga baril. Nasa apat sa loob ng sampo. Sana naman mabigyan natin ng diin ito pagkat napaka-importante nito sa lahat ng investigasyon ng PNP. Mayroon rin tayong anti-crime ICT equipment na, na nakakalat ngayon hindi lamang sa headquarters kundi sa mga regional units to dismantle illegal operations. Also, we now have and should enjoy the complete and comprehensive data sharing solution, not only through IT, but through the different smokestacks, not only in the police force, but throughout the NBI and the armed forces. It is time that we indeed share information in a coherent and functional manner. Thermal imaging technology has also been utilized uh, very effectively. Facial recognition software has now taken place in many, many precincts. And real-time data is available, not only to policemen, but to our volunteers present today, the ACP. Mobile fingerprinting, computer-aided dispatch or CAD software, automatic license plate recognition or ALPR are very, very important. But at the end of the day, tough policing it may be, but smart policing requires a strong and positive police communications and community relations network. It is not an impossible dream. There are 7,000 of you here this morning proving that the police can work happily and fruitfully with the community. 
Andito kayo pitong libo at mahigit nagbibilang na dadagdagan sa buong kapulungan upang tulungan ang ating mga pulis. Unang-una, ang pagkakaisa natin sa mga LGU ay kailangan iunahin uh, sa lahat. Pagkat narito nga ang ating DILG, ang Secretary Abalos natin, alam natin na napakahalaga ng tulong at tangkilik ng ating LGU. Alam ko bilang governor ng mahabang panahon na nakalas lang namin ang mga private armed groups sa Ilocanja dahil sa pagkakaisa ng LGU at ng PNP. Ganyan din, kayo ang ating mga force multipliers, ibang tumutulong ng mahigit sampung taon na ang ating mga BPATs, ang ating mga BINs, ang mga advocacy and hobby groups na nagmomotor. Ayan, ang mga bicycle and other groups as well as the gun hobbyists and experts. We also need to enlist the NGOs, the faith-based groups who are most concerned and most effective with not only prevention but also with the remedial measures of therapy and uh, and rehabilitation. Proklama ng ating kongreso bilang ikalabing pitong pangulo ng ating bansa. President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. has emphasized the paramount importance of winning the trust and confidence of the general public to the Philippine National Police. Approximately, Police General Benjamin Forda Jr., the five focus agenda reflects the true brand equity of a PNP. The nation's peacekeeper, meeting the public's expectation relative to moral principles, integrity, accountability, and honesty. The primary goal of this coalition is to consolidate, unify, and mobilize non-government organizations, PNP-accredited NGOs, force multipliers, and advocacy support groups under the Anti-Crime Coalition for Peace and Progress International, ACPI. This will provide cohesiveness, unity in purpose, and direction in all grassroots engagements. The project's primary objectives of creating a platform for PCR engagement will strategically manifest the President's marching orders, ensuring the continuity of public rapport, confidence, and support for PNP, further strengthening the collaborative partnership between the PNP and stakeholders facilitating the effective implementation of the Chief of PNP's Five Focus Agenda, providing a platform for massive sectoral involvement in national programs such as the Buhay Ingatan Jogay Ayawan Program by the Department of the Interior and Local Government and other Peace in Order initiatives that require public support. PNP PCADG the implementing arm of the Directorate for Police Community Relations will spearhead this program. The focus will be on engaging force multipliers and advocacy support groups under the direction of the BNP PCADG. These operations will be supported by a parallel social media campaign designed to influence the public mindset and garner support for the PNP's programs. Through this strategic approach, we aim to create traction, influence public perception, drive people to support the PNP's initiatives and other government efforts against all forms of crime, including terrorism and corruption. As PNP forges alliances with non-government organizations, force multipliers, and advocacy support groups, we create a powerful movement which takes shape into a strong coalition of forces that amplifies people's collective voice and embodies the principles of the Anti-Crime Coalition for Peace and Progress International. With BNP's unwavering commitment and strategic focus on community engagement, we pave the way for public trust, harmony, and resounding support for the PNP's vital mission. Together, we chart a new course, empowering every sector to contribute to the nation's safety and progress. 
Sa pangarap na maging maunlad ang ating bansa, ang pangarap nyo ay pangarap ko. At yan po yung mga naging kaganapan kaninang umaga sa uh, Grand PCR Day sa loob ng Kampo Krami. At tayo po ay nagpapasalamat sa mahigit 7,000 dumalo at nakilahok sa ating aktibidad, especially sa ating pong mga non-government organizations, force multipliers, miyembro po ng PNP Kataguyod at miyembro po ng ACP. At ang naturang aktibidad po ay simultaneously implemented or done sa iba't ibang regional offices sa buong Pilipinas. Patunay na mas pinalakas ng Philippine National Police ang ugnayan at pakikipagtulungan sa ating mga stakeholders.